So, you know, one of the questions, to Frank's point, I've gotten a lot is, you know, everyone, I think, understands the anniversary treatment. We've got a lot of questions about three and four. Um, you know, okay, if you're not touching those games by hand, how are those really going to look? Didn't I just play these? Are you just upporting from, uh, from the old versions? And the answer is absolutely not. We have made a tremendous amount of work uh, into those games to make them run at 60 frames per second, to make them run at 1080p. Um, I'd like to show you guys some work in progress on Halo 3, uh, give you guys a bit of an exclusive. We can run it. We've got a video, and I'll, I'll just talk through it while we're looking through it. without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy? We must go. The brutes have our scent. All right, so we'll get rolling. And they must love And again, uh, hopefully this is coming through nicely on, on the screens, but let's, uh, let's hop in and check out some gameplay. So this is Halo 3, uh, believe it or not, at 60 frames, 1080p, and what you can immediately see from it is how much more fluid the gameplay is. Uh, it's coming across nicely in the video. You really sense the difference when you pick it up and play. You can actually see here as you look up at the canopy, uh, a lot of individual detail is also coming through, which you couldn't see prior to that. Back at the office, we've actually got versions. We have two TVs going for both this and four that have the original running next to our new ones, and the difference is pretty dramatic. This is actually a great spot. You can see some of the changes we made to the lighting systems, to the shaders. So, you know, it's hard to believe that this is Halo 3, and it's looking so incredible. The water looks great. So, whereas we're not going in and hand-touching all of the content like we are for Halo 2 Anniversary, these, this Halo 3 and Halo 4 are still getting a pretty dramatic upgrade. You get the benefits of 1080p, you get the benefits of 60 frames per second, and it's really a, you know, a fun exercise for us because we're taking these games from a technical standpoint without touching everything by hand and bringing it in and making it feel like a modern console game.